Welcome to Kids Worship at Christ Presbyterian Church. We are happy to have you joining us today. This video is for the week of March 14th, the fourth Sunday of Lent. Again and again, God loves first. This candle is lit to remind us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Let's join Mark for some music for worship today. Today I think you're going to talk a little bit about God loving you and loving everybody, and how he loved us first. And there's a, a verse in the Bible that talks about that. It says, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, Jesus, that anyone that believes in him would have everlasting life. Okay? And he came down from heaven that we could have love. And we're going to do a song today about that. This song comes from Africa also. Okay? And um, here we go. But I'll say the words you say them back to me. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. And we do that three times. And then we say, sing, hallelujah forevermore. Hallelujah forevermore. Okay? So I'll sing it and you sing it back to me. He came down that we may have love. 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 He came down that we may Jesus loves you. Goodbye. We can prepare to hear God's message for us today with a prayer. I'll say a chunk and pause so you can repeat it back. Dear God, be our guide as we seek to learn more about you and how to follow in the ways of Jesus. Amen. Our lesson for this week has two scripture lessons that you are invited to look up and read on your own or ask someone to read them to you. The first is John chapter 3 verses 14 through 21. The second is Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 10. You can find both of these scriptures in the New Testament. Today we will read the passage from the book of John from our Spark House Bible. Let's listen to God's message for us today. The Light of the World In the middle of the night, a man named Nicodemus came to see Jesus. It was a strange time to visit someone, but Nicodemus had many questions about God, and he didn't want to wait. There was a lot of talk about Jesus. Many people didn't believe Jesus 
and Nicodemus wasn't sure what he thought about it all. He also wasn't sure he wanted anyone to see him. He knew that Jesus was talking about God in a whole new way, and some people didn't like it. That night, Jesus and Nicodemus talked for quite a while. They argued and wondered together about many things. And then Jesus said, Really? All you need to know is this. God loves you. In fact, God loves everyone. And it's important that you know this and tell everyone you meet. God wants everyone to know how much they are loved. Nicodemus, God loves this world and everyone in it so much that God sent me, his son, so that everyone would learn how much they are loved. God sent me to save the world, Nicodemus. I am the light of the world. I am all that is good and right, and God sent me to light up this world. Unfortunately, people sometimes like darkness better than light. When we do terrible things, the light is not in us. When we are mean, hateful, and horrible, the world is a dark, dark place. But when we do things that are good and right, when we love each other and help one another, God's light shines brightly in the world, and God is glad. I hope you know how much you are loved. God made you out of love so you can share love with others in everything you do. There is nothing you can do that will make God love you any more or any less because God has loved you from the very beginning. Isn't that a wonderful gift? Tuesday, we will be sharing a video of a story that goes along with this week's lesson. The title of the book is Love. We hope that you will come back and check that out. This week, you can finish the sentence, I love you because, with everyone in your family. Everyone can take turns saying what they love about each other. You can find the full lesson for this week from Sanctified Art on our website, cpctoledo.org. Let's close our time together today with a prayer. Dear God, Thank you for loving me from the very beginning. Help me to start with love in everything I do and say. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed week. Hope to see you on Tuesday.